For lesson six, we'll be learning how to style text using CSS, which is Cascading Style Sheets, and that's a language used to describe how HTML elements should be styled. So we can change the color, the font style, the font size, where the text is aligned, that kind of thing. So first of all, if we look at this website, there are some things we know how to do already and some things we don't know how to do. So we don't know how to do the colors yet um, and how to change what the font looks like. So we'll go ahead and hit continue. On this one, um, we want to look and see what changes uh, that CSS is making to the page. So if we have we have two sheets here, the index HTML, which is a regular HTML file, then we have style CSS. This is what uh, describes how our text is going to show up. We've got H1 is the heading size one. So anything in between these curly brackets are going to be some rules for the H1. So anything that's an H1 is going to have a color of blue, and the text alignment is going to be in the center. So we see these H1s are in blue and they're aligned to the center. Then we look over here at this H2. Anything between these two curly brackets are going to be rules for H2. So here we've got text aligned to the right. So this is the H2. It's aligned to the right side. And the color is red. Okay, you can watch this video on your own. Okay, and then our project is going to continue as we work through these, through these lessons here. And we'll save it. For this one, we want to um, find the style sheet, so we'll click on style.css, and we see H1 here. We've got color red and font size 24 pixels. The PX stands for pixels. So they want us to change the color uh, from H1 from red to a different color. So we'll just change this to blue, and that's it for this one. We'll go ahead and move to exercise 6. Uh, for making a new CSS rule set. So they want us to find what determines the H1 style. So we'll click on style CSS. The H1 style is here. The color is blue. The font size is 24 pixels. They want to they want us to write a new CSS rule using the same pattern that we have here for H1 uh, for the H3 instead. So let's go ahead and write a new rule. We'll go below the paragraph, give it another space. We'll say H3. Do this curly bracket and then we'll put in the rules. So let's say color purple and then let's leave a space here so we're consistent and then we'll say font size font dash size and then maybe we want it I don't know 20 pixels 20 px. Make sure you have a semicolon at the end of each of these little rules, otherwise it's not going to work out properly. So we'll refresh and save that. And now those changes have been saved. We'll go ahead and move to exercise 7. We need to find the CSS rule set in the style sheet that determines the style for the paragraphs. So we'll click on style CSS. We find our paragraph uh, rules and they want us to change the text size of the paragraphs and the headings. So we've got the text size paragraphs. Maybe we want to make it a little bigger. We can change this to maybe 16. And then the headings, let's make them even bigger. We'll just go a couple pixels higher on H1 to 26. And then we'll go a couple higher on H3 to 22. So now we've just made everything just a little bit bigger. And then you can go ahead and uh, watch this video on your own. For this section, uh, they want us to link the style sheet or the style.css link it back to the html file so the only way the html file knows that it's supposed to use the style sheet is if it's linked to it so inside of between the two head tags is where we would link our style sheet so it gives us the code here that tells us exactly how to do it uh, if we notice this style.css is the name of this file here so we're in index.html. Make sure you're in index.html in between the two head tags. And we'll do the left angle bracket link. We're linking. REL equals. And then in parentheses, you're going to type style sheet. Okay. And then you're going to say href. The reference is going to be equal to style.css. And it should pop up for you there too. You could click on that style.css or you can just type it in how I've done it. So um, we just need, whoops, need that angle bracket on the right, and that's it. So make sure you've got your little angle brackets. Um, and now it's 
showing up with the style that has been created from style.css. So we'll go ahead and move to the next one. All right, let's go ahead and look at these. Debug the font size. Okay, so there is a problem. We want the font, paragraph font size to be 24 pixels, but it's not showing up as 24 pixels. So first of all, we see that link style sheet is linked here, and it, so that's good. Let's go ahead and click on styles.css. We've got P, color, black, font size 24px. However, this is in pink. That means there's an error. So if we're just missing a dash, let's fix that. Now it's working out. Now it's bigger. Okay, we'll hit finish and move to the next one. Go to B. So we expect to see a paragraph color that is gray, but the paragraph color is black. So let's go ahead. We see the style sheet is linked here. That's great. We'll go over to the styles and we'll look at paragraph and it says color gray. Ooh, look at this. We don't have our curly brackets like we do on the H1 in the body. We're missing those curly brackets. So let's put those in for the paragraph. And we'll put this other one down here. And now it's showing up as gray. So we'll move to the next exercise. For this one, we want to see a heading color that's green. However, the heading color is showing us black. So this is black. We need to change it to green. We've got our style sheet linked. That's good. We'll go over to the styles. We're looking at our heading. Ooh, we've got these square brackets instead of curly brackets. So let's fix those. All right, I went to green. So let's go ahead and move to the next one. For this one, we've got three problems. Heading one color is blue. It should be black. Oh, we don't even have a style sheet here. So let's go ahead and put our style sheet in between the two heading tags. So link space rel equals parentheses style sheet. href equals and we'll go style.css. And then we will close the angle bracket. And now it looks like everything has changed. Let's double check. Font size 12 pixels. Heading 1 blue. Heading 2 green. Awesome. All right. A heading rule set. So we can add our own rule set for heading. We've got our style sheet linked, which is great. We'll click on style.css and let's create a heading rule. So h1, and we'll go ahead and give our text a color. Make sure you have the semicolon at the end. And then we will have a font size. Let's see, 24 pixels. So there we go. We'll move to the next one. We've got the add a paragraph rule set. And for this one, we'll go ahead and go, we've got this set up correctly. So we'll go to the style sheet. And we've got some rules for the body. Let's go ahead and create rules for the paragraph. So make sure you've got those curly brackets and your rules go in here. So maybe we want color gray and we'll try font size and that can be 12 px for 12 pixels and that is good for the paragraph now let's go to adding a style sheet so they want us to add a style sheet and rule sets for this one. So this one you can kind of add whatever you like as far as the rule sets go. So if you want to add a style sheet, um, you'll see this button here. We've got add HTML and add CSS. So CSS will be for our style sheets. We click on that. It gives us a new sheet. We can uh, rename this if you click on the arrow here. Let's just call this style.css. And then um, we've got just a generic style sheet here with a, a few different settings. Um, I'm going to go over to the HTML, the index.html file, and make sure I put that in here. So use our left angle bracket, and we'll say OK, 
Okay. And now we've got our style sheet here. So let's go ahead and change. We'll add some rules to this. If we look on our index, we've got an H1, H3, H5, H2. So we've got different heading styles. We've got um, some paragraphs as well. So if we go over here, maybe we want to change our heading one. We'll change the font size of this to 30 pixels, 30 px. Maybe we want the color to be, well, let's, let's see what we got on our list here. Maybe it's dark blue. That's nice. And then we'll do, maybe we'll do something for the H2. And we'll create some rules for this. Twenty-six pixels. Maybe we'll do color. We'll try gray. Um, no, I changed my mind. I'm gonna keep the dark blue. For that one. And then maybe we'll have a rule for the paragraph. Maybe we'll change the paragraph to gray. And what do we got here? Inspector, we've got an H5, so maybe we'll make the H5 gray as well. But it's really up to you what you do in this one. I'm just kind of uh, picking uh, some different settings that I wanted to use for this. And then we've got our introduction, which is an H3. So if we want to do a setting for the H3, we can. H3, okay, font size. Oh, maybe this one's going to be 20 pixels. And then font color. Sorry, just color. And we'll choose this aqua. No, that's too, too light. There we go. Okay, so that looks pretty good as far as the style sheet goes. Um, and now we can go ahead and hit finish and move to the next section. And we'll hit finish here. And then this last one, link the style sheet to the web page, make the paragraph text a different size and the paragraph text a different color. So let's do a paragraph font size. Uh, now 18. How about that? 18 pixels. Uh, color. Let's do red. Why not? Maybe we'll do this dark red. Okay, and then we'll just link it. So if we go over to the index, in between the two head tags, remember we're going to link space rel equals, and then in quotes style sheet. Okay, and then we're going to say href equals and then we'll get style.css make sure it's in quotes here and then we'll just close it with the angle bracket and now we've got our style there so the paragraphs a different size and color so everything is done on that one we can refresh and save hit finish and then we've just got a few more activities to go through